Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Trinity Episcopal School versus Utah School. Hello and good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Battle of the Brains, celebrating our 20th season of producing Central Virginia's only high school academic quiz show. I'm Cheryl Miller, and it's great to have the students back with us here in the studio after two seasons of virtual gameplay. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Our academic athletes joining us today are the Titans of Trinity Episcopal School, coached by Pauline Crowling and Ned Trice. Trinity Episcopal School is just south of the James River in the city of Richmond. It's a private liberal arts high school serving about 500 students and was Richmond's first international baccalaureate school. Also with us today, the Falcons of Fuqua School, coached by Corinne Van Dorp. Fuqua School is a private primary and secondary school located in Farmville, which is about an hour southwest of our home base here in Richmond. The fully accredited co-educational school has approximately 350 students. And it's good to have all these students here with us today. Our match will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players wishing to answer will buzz in. They'll wait for me to call on them before giving their answer. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction, but there's no point deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, good luck. Let's start our first toss-up round. While there may never have been a Robin Hood, there was a Sherwood Forest, which was located near which English city? Farrah, I'm sorry, Cooper. Nottingham. That is correct. With about one third of all the potatoes produced in the United States, which state produces the most? Farrah. Idaho. Correct. Her early career was as a chemist, and she got her famous nickname, Iron Lady, from Soviet propaganda, named as first female prime minister of the United Kingdom. Margaret Carter. Thatcher. Correct. She was prime minister from 1979 to 1990. How many U.S. Supreme Court justices were seated during Mitch McConnell's tenure as Senate Majority Leader? Five. That is incorrect. Fuqua? Carter? Nine. There were actually three, Brett Kavanaugh, Neil Gorsuch, and Amy Coney Barrett. She was the first American woman to win a Nobel Prize, sharing the honor with Nicholas Murray Butler in 1931. Named this staunch pacifist involved in founding the American Civil Liberties Union, but probably best known for helping found Chicago's Hull House. Fury? That is incorrect. Fuqua? And that would be Jane Addams. What cabinet level position did Robert F. Kennedy hold in the administration of his brother, President John F. Kennedy? Secretary of State. That is incorrect. And again, wait for me to call on you before giving your answer. Yuqua? Who rang in, please? James? Secretary of Education. He was actually the Attorney General. It is the most densely populated neighborhood in California's most densely populated city and is the largest Chinese community outside of Asia. Cooper. Uh, little Tokyo. That is incorrect. I'll finish the question for Fuqua. In what city would you find the oldest Chinatown in the United States? Carter. San Francisco. That is correct. Which character in The Wizard of Oz wanted a brain? James. Tin Man. That is incorrect. Trinity? Kendall? Scarecrow. That is correct. He fathered Troilus with he Hecuba and later seduced Hecuba's daughter Cassandra by offering her the gift of prophecy. He also chased Daphne, but she escaped him by becoming a tree. Name this Greek god of light and poetry the twin brother of Artemis. Cooper? Apollo? That is correct. In September 1814, only a month after the British had set fire to the city of Washington, the government voted to remain in D.C. and not move to the nation's cap move the nation's capital to what other city? Philadelphia. That is correct, Cooper. Leonard Nimoy played Mr. Spock in the original Star Trek TV series and movies. What was the forward phrase he used when saying goodbye? It was live long and prosper. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here's a video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is complete before buzzing in. There have been eight U.S. presidents born in Virginia. 
Of those, who was the first to be born an American citizen? James. Zachary Taylor. That is correct. On August 31st, 1886, what unusual natural disaster struck Charleston, South Carolina, killing 60 people? Carter. Earthquake. Earthquake is correct. It was a magnitude 7.3. Among the types of this geological phenomenon are the blind thrusts, which terminate below the surface, normal ones with vertical displacement, and strike slips, which move laterally. Name these fractures in the Earth's surface, such as the San Andreas. Carter. Faults. Correct. And that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. A good job by our team so far, but there are a lot more questions to come. Up next, we'll take time to introduce you to today's players, and then they'll take on the category round when Battle of the Brains continues. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow on Battle of the Brains on social. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Trinity Episcopal School with 40 points. Our team from Fuqua School with 50 points. And we will get back to our match just ahead. But first, we want to introduce you to today's players. First, let's meet our team from Trinity Episcopal School. Their coach is Pauline Crowling and Ned Trice. They are the Titans. First up is Farah Berry, who is a junior. Her hobbies include solving Rubik's Cubes, likes to play basketball, field hockey, and soccer. Also interested in music, playing the saxophone and singing. Next up, -er, up is Cooper Michalik, who is a senior who is interested in tennis, soccer and swimming, enjoys skiing and hiking the Appalachian Trail. Next up is the team captain, Colin Edsel, who is a senior, plays basketball. He likes experimenting with electronics and hopes to pursue a career in electrical engineering. And wrapping up our Trinity Episcopal School team is Kendall Fleet, who is a senior. She is captain of the Trinity Varsity field hockey team and plays lacrosse. She'll be attending Haver Haverford College, where she's committed to play field hockey. Congratulations. Now let's meet our team from Fuqua School. They are the Falcons, coached by Corinne Van Dorp. First up is Hayden Hodges, who is a junior. Hayden is a football player who enjoys learning and reading, along with hunting and fishing. Our team captain is James Royal, who is a senior. And James is an Eagle Scout. He enjoys playing League of Legends, and he likes to work at Camp Powhatan. Carter McCarty is a junior. He runs cross country and also enjoys a good book, enjoys reading. And wrapping up our team is Brandon Seiler, who is a sophomore. Brandon is an Eagle Scout. He's in the Order of the Arrow and runs cross country at Fuqua School. And good to have all of our students here with us today on Battle of the Brains. And now they're going to take on the category round. Each team will select one 10 question category from today's choices. And if a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they will receive a 20 point bonus. All right, teams, take a look here at today's categories from which you may choose. They are literary adaptations, running mates, and famous ships. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team. There's no deferring. And they may confer with their teammates, though, to try to come up with the correct answers. By the rules, the high score team gets first choice of category. That is our team from Fuqua School. So James, quickly talk it over with your teammates and let me know what category you would like to play. Literary adaptations. All right, given the title of a famous book turned into a movie, name the author of the original book. The first is The Hunger Games. Pass. Suzanne Collins, To Kill a Mockingbird. Harper Lee. Correct, War of the Worlds. Pass. H.G. Wells, The Godfather. Pass. Mario Puzo, The Shining. Stephen King. Correct. A Clockwork Orange. H.P. Lovecraft. That would be Anthony Burgess. The Age of Innocence. Pass. Edith Wharton, Murder on the Orient Express. Agatha Christie. Correct. Sense and Sensibility. Jane Austen. Correct. And finally, Gone with the Wind. That would be Margaret Mitchell. 
That was a tough category, but you got a few right. You did a good job on that. All right, Trinity Episcopal, running mates or famous ships? Call and talk it over with your team at mates and let me know what category you'd like to play. We will do famous ships. All right, identify each of the following real or fictitious ships. The first is the legendary ship allegedly manned by Bootstrap Bill and Davy Jones. The Black Pearl. Uh, the Black Pearl. That would be the Flying Dutchman. Captain Hook's ship in Peter Pan. Jolly Roger. Correct. Captain Ahab's ship in Moby Dick. Pass. That would be the Pequod. Battleship lost in Havana Harbor on February 15, 1898. The Man. Correct. Known as Old Ironsides. The Constitution. Uh, let's go with the Constitution. There you went right. That is correct. First of Columbus's ships to spot land. Uh, Santa Maria. It would be the Pinta. Ship commandeered by Captain Bly. Pass. That would be the Bounty. Ship that searched for treasure in Treasure Island. Uh, Nautilus. The Hispaniola. Nemo's ship in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Nautilus. That is correct. <laughs> Confederate sub that sank the Housatonic. Housatonic, rather, I'm sorry. That sank the Housatonic. Pass. And that would be the Hunley. Another tough category, but good job on that as well by our team from Trinity Episcopal School. All right, coming up next, our game continues with another toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Stay with us. This week of Battle of the Brains, or want to catch up on a full season of gameplay? Find full matches on our YouTube channel. Welcome back. To Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Trinity Episcopal School with 65 points, Fuqua School with 70 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss up round. And just a reminder to our teams you will lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then have a chance to give their answer. And there is no conferring in the toss up rounds. All right, here we go. In nautical terminology, a hawse, usually a cable or rope, is the distance between the ship's bow and its what? Mast. That is incorrect. Fuqua? Stern. Stuart Carter? Stern. It's actually between its ship's bow and the anchor. What seven-letter word is used to refer to rocks such as granite and solid volcanic lava formed by the cooling and solidifying? Cooper. Igneous. That is correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. If f of x equals 2x plus 5 and g of x equals 3x minus 7, find f of g of x. Kendall. 6x minus 9. That is correct. All right, two answers required for this question. They came to power after James Francis Edward was passed over by Parliament's Declaration of Right, barring Catholics from the throne. Name both members of this couple from the House of the Orange Nassau, who ruled Britain after the Glorious Revolution. James. William and Mary. I need you to be more specific. We'll accept that. Okay, I'm sorry. We, the judges are saying we will accept that. So it's William III and Mary II. Thomas Jefferson's copy of what book was used in a symbolic January 2007 inauguration ceremony by Minnesota Congressman Keith Ellison, a Sunni Muslim? Quran. That is correct. And again, wait for me to call on you. To represent a zero takes five of them, an M, two, and a T, one. None is needed for E, L, S, or H, as those are represented, James. Dashes in Morse code. That is correct. White on the exterior, the entire complex includes gateways, a garden, and a mosque, in addition to the famed mausoleum. Name this building in Agra, India, built for Shah Jahan's James. Taj Mahal. That is correct, for his favorite wife. All right, teams, watch the screen. Listen carefully. Here's another video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, wait for the question to be complete before buzzing in. Before Brooks Kepka in 2017-2018, Virginian Curtis Strange was the last to win which one of golf's major championships back-to-back? 
Cooper. The U.S. Open. That is correct, 1988 and 1989. To its south lies Uganda, while to its east is Eritrea and Ethiopia. What nation found south of Egypt has capital Khartoum? Carter. Sudan. Correct. In November 2013, the Food and Drug Administration required the food industry to phase out the use of trans fats. Artery-clogging trans fats are created when what element is added to vegetable oil to make it more solid? James. Cholesterol? That is incorrect, Trinity. Cooper? Carbon? It's actually hydrogen. His plane, Ernane, was a watershed event for romanticism. Name this author best known for The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Les Mis Miserables. And that would be Victor Hugo. Among his accomplishments are proving the law of quadratic reciprocity, this prime number theorem, and the fundamental theorem of algebra. Name this German mathematician. And that would be Carl Goss. He started it on May 15th and ended on July 16th, 1941. Name the man who holds the record for hitting safely in 56 straight baseball games. Cooper. Lou Gehrig. That is incorrect. Fuqua? Carter? Babe Ruth. It was actually Joe DiMaggio. And that buzzer means just one more toss-up round ahead and we'll double the point score for our team. Stay tuned to see who is today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains and ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores as we head now into the final round on Battle of the Brains. Trinity Episcopal School with 105 points. Fuqua School with 110 points. Now for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled, and so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finish reading the question. But there is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, our final toss-up round. Bangladesh, Pakistan, New Zealand, and England are four nations with top-level teams that played international test matches. Cricket. Cooper, that is correct. Who was the American statesman and publisher of Poor Richard's Almanac? Benjamin Cooper. Franklin. Correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this. In an eight-horse race, how many ways can the horses come in first, second, and third place? And that would be 336 ways. Prairie dogs and woodchucks are considered ground species of what common backyard rodent? Cooper. Squirrel. Correct. Our next question is spell squirrel. James. S-Q-U-I-R-R-E-L. And that is correct. <laughs> Name the actor who portrayed James Bond in the film's Golden Eye. Tomorrow never dies, the world is not enough, and die another day. Cooper. That is incorrect. Fuqua? And that would be Pierce Brosnan. 210 miles southwest of Guam, the Mariana Trench is the deepest part of Earth. Name the specific part of the trench, 36,201 feet below sea level, that is named for the British ship that surveyed it in 1951. The Cook Trench. That is incorrect. Fuqua? The location is called Challenger Deep. The name of the ship was Challenger. This is an infamous literary character created in the novels by Thomas Harris, born into a Lithuanian family, noble family. He was traumatized when his sister was killed by militiamen during World War II. Identify this villain made famous in the movie The Silence of the Lambs. Cooper. Uh, Hannibal Lecter. Correct. This route ran 362 miles from Rome to the point of Brundisium. In 71 BC, over 6,000 followers of Spartacus were crucified along it. Name this important Roman road. That is incorrect. Fuqua? And that would be the Appian Way. 
It chronicles the period corresponding roughly to the reigns of Caligula, Claudius, and Nero, and like a gospel is addressed to Theophilus. In chapter 7, Stephen is stoned, while chapter 9 brings the on the road to Damascus. James. Biblical book of Acts. That is correct, the fifth book of the New Testament. What 1989 Kevin Costner film matchup became reality when the Chicago White Sox... Uh, Field of Dreams. That is correct. The White Sox defeated New York Yankees. It is the highest civilian honor in America. Name this award bestowed by the president to those who have made notable contributions to security or national interests of the United States, world peace, or cultural endeavors. Medal of Honor. That is incorrect, Colin. Fuqua? Hayden? It's the Presidential Medal of Freedom. It was the first step in a successful surprise attack on a garrison of Hessians stationed in Trenton, New Jersey. Name this Christmas 1776 event, which is commemorated. James. Crossing the Delaware. Correct. In a famous painting, and it's on New Jersey State Quarter, Washington, crossing the Delaware. Its atomic number is 90. Other than uranium, it is the only naturally occurring actinide. What is this radioactive element named for a Norse god? That is correct, Colin. Name the explorer killed on the Phil Philippine island of Mactan, whose crew completed the first mm. circumnavigation of the globe, Farah. Magellan. Correct, for <laughs> Magellan. And that buzzer is our, the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here on Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date on Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more and follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round one in this 20th anniversary season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome Prince George High School versus the Stewart School. And now let's see the final score for today's match, determining which team will continue on in its, this season's competition. Ending the match with 170 points, our team from Fuqua School, a great job today by Brandon, Carter, James, and Hayden. With a final score of 245 points, our team from Trinity Episcopal School are our champions today. And we'll go on to the next round. Congratulations to Farah, Cooper, Colin, and Kendall, and we'll see you in the next round. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.